Good morning, beautiful people. Maritza here. I am getting ready to go to church. Found uh, Calvary Church is around four something miles away from where I'm living, so I'm going to check them out. There's several, so I'm going to see which is the perfect fit. I watch some of the videos of their live ministries, and I liked it. So I'm just going to go check it out and see what's up. Um, still raining it's been raining so much for the past few days luckily in the morning i get my run in although today i didn't run i decided to take the day off for this sunday i don't know if i'll always take sunday off because i think it's important to get your body into motion daily and um, eat healthy pray and love on father that's what's going to keep you all healthy um, my mom's doing a little bit better since I've been here. She had a few bad days. Her fever went up, but I went into my ancient Chinese secret remedies, um, all natural stuff and been giving her fruits and a lot of greens. I've taken over their, um, their cooking and stuff like that. So that to make sure they both get healthy food. So I will be, I'll be their chef and, um, and I will be providing them with the things that their body requires. Um, you know, my mom's 75, so she, she needs extra care and, um, I'm going to do that for her because that's my mom and, uh, it'd be more than pleasure for me to do that. So what else? Everything is going fantastic. Um, still waiting for my sofa bed right now. I'm sleeping on an air mattress, which is not the greatest but they ordered a sofa bed so that the place could stay like a studio because I need a sofa for the show. And um, so sofa by day, bed by night, and that'll be all great. Uh, guys, please, please, please walk in the path of love and light. And not the love that many of you are trying to push, accept me, let me be who I am. That's not love. Actually, the people that are accepting people that are living in sexual immorality and, and sexual sin, you're not loving those people. You're actually hurting them and you're sending them directly to the abyss. The lake of fire is not a fun place to spend eternity in. So I highly, highly plead with you that if you have a loved one, be gentle, be compassionate, but keep speaking the truth into them so that they realize that their lives are not theirs. They belong to God and God is not accepting. Even though they think that God knows their heart, even though they think that God's okay with them, they're being lied to. And the wages of sin is death. So we have to be very mindful and we have to create tactics to reach our loved ones being gentle and loving, but telling them the truth every step of the way. Because if you don't, then you too are prone to the judgment. We want everyone that's good hearted to be saved. We want the people, the family of God to unite and love one another for the true source of love, not some fake love. That means you get to do what you want. That's not the way to go at all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, end the video. I just wanted to make a quickie. I'll be back tomorrow. And I know there's a lot of people waiting. You know, they've, they're, they're, they're missing their chat. They're missing their transition family. And they're missing the exciting shows that I provide for you guys Monday through Friday. So now it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is the same 9 a.m. Mountain Time, but now I'm Eastern Time. So I'm looking forward. I have a couple of guests lined up for this week, and I look forward to interviewing many more. Anyone that's interested in actually sharing their testimony, it doesn't only have to be LGBT. It could be any testimony to glorify Father. Please feel free to email me at transitionradioshow at gmail.com. And all the links and all that stuff is usually in the channel description. And you can check out um, my blog, Maritza Coming Lives, Blogspot, no, WordPress.com. All that stuff is on, on the YouTube channel description when you go in the about and it has all the, all the stuff like that. So you guys could, I'm going to start writing some more and I'm currently working on my book. 
So um, very, very busy times taking care of my parents and all that. But God will provide and God will. I'm very good at time management. So I just get up early and I will have to get up early, work out first before the show since it's not till 11. So I'll get that out of the way and then deal with the things that I have to deal with. Personal consults, life coaching, putting people on meal plans, uh, speaking and, and engagements and things of that nature. So God is good and life is good and you can make it as good as you want as long as you put God first and follow his command. I love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too. And of course, love your daddy. Bye-bye.